Squab Tires U.S. Bank State Volleyball Championships. Tonight's match features the Crook County Cowgirls against the Astoria Fishermen. Crook County looking for its seventh consecutive state championship, two at 5A and the last four here at 4A, all on this court at Lane Community College. Astoria is a different story. Second in the Coapa League, a 6-4 and four league record, kind of a roller coaster season, but the Astoria Fishermen have found themselves playing their very best volleyball when it counts here down the stretch in the state tournament. And here they are against perennial powerhouse Crook County. Crook County in the near court in the blue uniforms. And Astoria in the far court in the black uniforms with the purple numerals. I'm just about set to get started. The coaches for Crook County, Rosie Honnell, now in her 17th year as the mentor, did not win a game in her first three seasons and now has won six consecutive state championships. And on the other side, for the Astoria Fishermen, it's Angie Hunt back for her first year. She coached five years between 2003 and 2007, and her first year back, and has the Fishermen in the state championship game here at the 4A level. Teams have been introduced to the uh, crowd here. Good crowd on hand for both schools, Crook County and Astoria, and just about set to get this one Underway. Glad to have you with us here on OSAA.TV. Final match of the tournament here at Lane Community College, and they've been fantastic hosts for us. Earlier, Sanium Christian dispatched Corbett in straight sets to win its third title in four years. Our officials tonight, Linda McKinney and Marcus Eng. Well, Crook County has played a very intense schedule on their way to their 22-4 and record, and most of their losses have come against bigger schools. They lost to defending 6A champ Central Catholic twice and lost to Sisters, another 4A school, also lost to West Lynn earlier this year. Again, Astoria has been more of an up and down story. But the fishermen have persevered here in the state tournament and are through to the state title match. Great point to open up. Joust at the net. And now a chance for Astoria from the middle. And it goes down. Excellent start. one nothing Fisherman. Crook County with some passing difficulties. They will get the ball back across the net. Big swing coming into the block. And Astoria off to the great start. Two nothing Fisherman as Allison Silva uh, serves. Middle sets into the block and down. And Crook County is on the board. Hannah Troutman, one of the hardest hitters in Oregon volleyball, regardless of the class, has actually caused two concussions with uh, big swings, pounding the volleyball into her opponents. And she doesn't mean any harm. She just hits the ball that hard. 2-1 Astoria. Crook County with its first point just moments ago. There's Troutman again off the block and out. Ties the match at two. Kayla Hamilton is the setter. Ali Apperson serves for the Cowgirls into the net. Unforced error. And Astoria has given up three consecutive points to the Cowgirls. Apperson again, one of three seniors for Crook County. Mishandled. 
Poor passing for Astoria, and they've given up four consecutive. Apperson again, Michaela Lindbergh and Annie Frazier are the other two seniors. Back set, and nice diving save for Kayla Hamilton, the setter. Hamilton will just set it into the back row of the fishermen. Troutman again. And underneath, offside against Astoria. Apperson is on a run, five. This will be her fifth consecutive serve. Back set for Kira Grafton. And out of bounds. And an ace for Apperson. He's on quite a roll from the service line. And a timeout coming for Astoria. We'll take it to you're watching OSAA.TV. One match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. We're going to try to dictate to you what you're going to do on both offense and defense. We're going to come at you. One shot. Yes. Now it's time to put the hats on and go get some work done. So they're all going to look to make a statement early. And welcome back out of the timeout. Kirk County leads set number one, seven to two. Allie Apperson to serve again. Kirk County beat Elmira and Madras to get to this match. And Astoria beat Sisters and Banks. Into the net, off the block, and down. Great defense from Kyra Grafton, sophomore. And Astoria earns the side out. Grafton to serve. Into the net. They give it right back. And checking into the game is Miranda Dietrichs, the libero for Astoria. In the white jersey, number eight. Troutman. And another poor pass from Astoria. And so far, Crook County has not had to work very hard for its points. Unforced errors paved the way to a 9-3 lead. From the back row. And unable to return service yet again, Astoria showing perhaps those championship match nerves against the six-time defending champs. Again, from the back row, this should be a good chance for the Cowgirls. Annie Frazier puts it down. Annie Frazier, her third year on the varsity team. Not a real flashy player, just steady, good student. Troutman to serve. Back set off the slide, off the block, and in. Side out Astoria trailing 11 to four. Well, Lund with the serve. Big hit in the middle from Lindbergh. Michaela Lindbergh headed to the University of Portland to play her college volleyball next year has been a real star for this team for a number of years. 
was the most valuable player of the championship match as a freshman and as a sophomore. And here in her senior year, looking to complete a perfect run at state. 12-5, Astoria trailing. But with the serve, Lindbergh again. Just starting to get her warmed up from the left side. And the serve goes back over. Annie Frazier will do the honors. 13 to five, Crook County out to an eight point advantage in set number one. Back set with the left hand just out off the hand of Danielle Moyer. Big swing off the block and a rejection. Christian Carter ran into a wall that time and the lead extended to 10 at 15-5. Angie Hunt, the Astoria head coach, played at Thurston High School, not far from here, in Springfield, just across the river, and went on to play at the University of Oregon in the early 90s. Free ball for Crook County, middle set Lindbergh, and she registers another kill. 16 to five, Michaela Lindbergh. You know, the big swingers for Crick County, Lindbergh, Annie Frazier, and Hannah Troutman. And there's Frazier with a serve. Astoria can't handle it. Angie Hunt up off the bench. See if she gets a timeout. Nope. Back set, left hand, Moyer, that swing, and putting it down on the other side, Carly Hollis. Annie Frazier continues the great service run. In the middle, and that's rejected. Lindbergh with the block. Force inside, and there's the timeout. 19 to 5. Crook County leading Astoria in the 4A championship match, set number one. Let's take a break on OSAA.tv. One match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. We're going to try to dictate to you what you're going to do on both offense and defense. We're going to come at you. One shot. But now it's time to put the hats on and go get some work done. So they're all going to look to make a statement early. And out of the timeout, Annie Frazier continues to serve for the Cowgirls in the near court. Back set and a nice give and take there for Astoria. Danielle Moyer with the left hand, the middle hitter. Senior, one of two seniors on this Fisherman roster along with Nadine England. And an unforced error, Moyer into the net. Lindbergh is the server for the Cowgirls. 20 to 6. Outside set for Carter. Now in the middle on the other side. And a free ball coming for Crook County. Troutman off the block and down. 21 to 6. Uh, 
Nice defensive play by Dietrichs to dig that one out. The Astoria side having trouble returning. These serves from Michaela Lindbergh. Listed at 5'11". No one listed over six foot for Crook County. Astoria doesn't disclose their heights. And the fishermen get it back, side out. Christian Carter. Set in the middle, blocked, and Astoria will have a chance. It's tapped over, and now Troutman again finds the line. 23 to seven, two points away from the first set and checking back in for Crook County as Catherine Kaonis, number eight. Kayla Hamilton, the setter, will do the serving. And we'll check on the substitutions. That's the delay, and I think we're ready for play. Good serve from Hamilton. Bump set. And into the open court, 24 to seven. Samantha Kaonis with the kill and the Crook County faithful come to their feet. Set point. Middle sets off the block and down. Astoria survives at least for the moment, Grafton. So Allison Silva, the junior setter, to do the serving for the fishermen. Keonis, and set one goes to Crook County, 25 to eight. We'll change sides and be back in a moment. You're watching OSAA.TV. match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. We're going to try to dictate to you what you're going to do on both offense and defense. We're going to come at you. One shot. And now it's time to put the hats on and go get some work done. So they're all going to look to make a statement early. Three sixteen left to go in this ball game. High formation, third and three from the 45 of the Wolverines. And this time, holy cow! Dion almost hands it to the Westview player. He's going to run this to the 5, 10, touchdown, Wolverines! How did that happen? Jason that was Snyder. Holy cow! He was in the backfield before the running back could even get the handoff. He took the handoff from he Dion. He took the ball right out of Dion's hands and just... <laughs> Holy cow! Can't say I've seen that one very often. Snyder comes shooting in from the A-gap. I think Dion froze when he saw him. He's ready to hand off to his running back. He froze when he saw him and just hand, let him have the ball. 12 seconds to go. Oh, you could hear a pin drop. Five, four, three, two, get the snap off. Last play of the game. Brewster rolls right, gets away from two sacks. Dons win, sack at the 20-yard line. What a game. 
And number 40, Lucas Zinder with the game saving sack. And there is heartbreak on one sideline and a jubilation on another. Offset eye for the Grizzlies as Keeney takes it under center. They'll send a man in motion, pitch back to Bird on the sweep. Bird finds a seam. He might go, folks. 20, 15, 10. Drags a tackler. And welcome back to Lane Community College on the campus here in Eugene. For a state championship match, set one went to Crook County, 25 to 8. Our teams have changed sides. Crook County now in the far court. Astoria in the near court. And Astoria did not manage much offensively in that first set. Frightening thing for 4A volleyball folks is, yes, Lindbergh, Frazier, and Apperson graduate this year for Crook County, but a lot of the team is back, and they have depth coming up from the JV ranks as well. Crook County to serve. Nice touch. Grafton. Astoria out to the lead, 1-0. Silva, middle set, Troutman into the net. And Astoria with a minor run to start the game. Middle set again, and putting it down is Troutman, and a Troutman. They went right back to her after that miss hit on the previous point. And now she'll serve. Big hit off the block. Point Fisherman, Noel Lund. Well, just from our vantage point here, up on the catwalk in the gym. There's a noticeable size advantage for Crook County, but it's not helping here into the block and the rejection. Story out to a good start in set number two, trying to even this match. And point Astoria into the net went Crook County. Grafton, the sophomore. And we talked about the experience level at Crook County. Astoria has a lot coming back. They'll only lose England and Moyer off of this squad. A lot of sophomores. And Crook County earns the side out. Checking back in is Le the Libero. Lake in Berlin. And she'll serve. Crook County does not have any athletic funding from its high school. They have to raise their entire volleyball budget on their own through fundraising into the net and down point Crook County. It's about $22,000 they need to raise each year just to keep playing volleyball. And they have a fairly ambitious travel schedule. They play some of the better 5A and 6A teams in the state along the way, traveling to tournaments to play the very best competition. In fact, they beat every 6A team they played this year, except for the defending champ, Central Catholic. Another point for Crook County, and they've climbed right back into the set at 5-4, trailing by a point. Berlin, nose-diving serve, and that big lefty hit. I think that was touched, and it was not. That goes out of bounds. Over the block. Moyer couldn't find it that time. Free ball for Crook County. Middle set. Frazier just tapped it over. 
And Astoria counters very quickly and finds the open spot on the court. Side out, Fisherman. So Angie Hunt back at the helm of the Fisherman. After a four-year hiatus, coach for five years, took four off into the block and down. Astoria picking it up defensively. Seven five Fisherman. Lindbergh. Great dig from Lund. Off the slide, Lindbergh again, and this one gets down. Give her a couple of chances. She's going to convert more often than not. 7-6. Cowgirls back within a point. Frazier to serve. Moyer into the block. Annie Frazier is an interesting story. The senior, she has not had any soda, any chips, or any candy for four years. Ever since she got started in the high school volleyball program, she has been eating very healthy. Outside set, big jump. Handled by the Cowgirls. Lindbergh will just tap it over. Moyer. Lindbergh again. Lindbergh has not been able to wind up on this point. Kirk County still comes out with the point where rally scoring, of course. So a point awarded on each play. You don't have to have the serve to score. Middle set for Moyer, blocked by Lindbergh. Daniel Moyer is giving away some inches there to Michaela Lindbergh, the 5'11 senior. Tallest player on the Cowgirls roster. This time over the block. Seems like the blockers for Crook County are getting a piece of nearly every attempt, and there's another. And it's down. I believe that was Carly Hollis. And Frazier to serve. Kayla Hamilton, back set. Off the block and down, Lindbergh doing it defensively. Christian Carter couldn't get it to go, and a timeout on the court with Crook County leading set number two by a count of 11 to seven. Let's take a break on OSAA.TV. match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. We're going to try to dictate to you what you're going to do on both the offense and defense. We're going to come at you. One shot. But now it's time to put the hats on and go get some work done. So they're all going to look to make a statement early. Welcome back. Out of the Astoria timeout. Crook County is serving with the 11-7 lead. They lead the match one set to none. Annie Frazier. From the back line, little confusion who was going to take the swing. And Hollis again. You see these things go in spurts with the good hitters. They'll continue to feed who is hot. Kaylee Hollis 
Has registered a couple of kills. Again, off the block, Carter can't seem to get on top of that ball, and Hollis can't handle that one either. And so Astoria will get the point and the serve. Trailing by four. Miranda Dietrich, the libero. Ayla Hamilton back set for Lindbergh. Didn't quite find her in stride there. Hamilton again. Hollis. Carter now. And that did not catch the block, so they touched it four times on the Astoria side at a side out. Crook County checking into the game for the Cowgirls. Elsa Harris, the sophomore defensive specialist. And you'll see uh, a lot of uh, hand clapping on the Cowgirls side. Each girl has her own sequence of claps. And that time a little confusion. Who was going to take it for the Cowgirls? No one did. Berlin saying my bad. Thirteen to nine. A story hanging around here in the second set. Hamilton, cross for Troutman. Yeah, she's earned that reputation as one of the harder hitters in the state. Fourteen to nine, Crook County. Hamilton's an interesting story. The ju uh, the sophomore setter for the Cowgirls, number two, who's serving. This is our first year of organized volleyball. And she spent all summer working on the game. Now as she is in the very crucial position. And a point to Astoria. She's in the very crucial position of being a setter on the six-time defending state champs. Worked very hard with head coach Rosie Honnell over the summer to develop those skills. And then it took her a while to get in sync. There's Troutman to get in sync with her hitters like Troutman and Lindbergh and Fraser. So far, so good in her first year starting. Kayla Hamilton. There's a middle set for Troutman, and she missed it. Tried to guide it to the line, and she overshot. The lead is two. Carter. Troutman off the block. Free ball for Crook County. Hollis, no. From the back line, Moyer. Nice defense from Astoria and a great point. Hollis off the block and down finally. What a point for both teams. Checking into the game is number 12 for Crook County, Annie Fraser. And doing the serving for the Cowgirls, Allie Apperson. Apperson has the second highest percentage of serves to go in, and there you see a perfect example. There's an ace. Struggled a bit serving early in the season and has really worked on it to become one of the more solid servers for Crook County. There's two aces in a row for Apperson. Lake in Berlin is the top server in terms of percentage. Now 17 to 12, Crook County is Apperson to serve again. Carter. And off the block and down. Excuse me, that was Noel Lund, not Christian Carter. 18 to 12, and there's that run 
Crook County all of a sudden will just string a number of good, solid points together, and they've done it a lot with their defense. And there's a point for the Fishermen. Back into the game for Astoria number 11, Chloe Hunt. She's a freshman, the daughter of head coach Angie Hunt. Outside set, Fraser can't get it to go. Caught the net. Point Astoria. And Allison Silva with the serve. Troutman <laughs> hammers it down. With authority from Hannah Troutman, the junior. She'll be back next year. And Troutman with the service error. Astoria still has not gotten into a real rhythm with their offensive sets. Lindbergh taps it over into space. Been a roller coaster ride this season for Astoria. Had to buy into the team concept, says Angie Hunt, their head coach. And second in the Coapa League, 6-4, six, 6-4 six and four league record. And she said it wasn't that the league was necessarily that strong. It was just that they weren't playing that well together. And there's a lift against Astoria. The real turning point for the Fishermen came when they played Estacada for the right to come here. And they were down two sets to none. Battled back to win it in five. There's a big hit and a finish. For Hunt, Chloe Hunt, the freshman. That five set win over Estacada has really brought the team together, showed them that they can win on some of the biggest stages. Crook County puts one down, 22-16. Frazier to serve. From the outside, Carter. Nice finish from Christian Carter. Storia trying to hang around here in set number two, trailing 22-17. Dietrich. Hollis. Pounds it down for Crook County. Cowgirls two points away from a two sets to none advantage. Carly Hollis just a sophomore. Lindbergh with the serve and that one dove right down. Sinker ball. And it found a space in the defense, set point. Moyer, and it's in. Side out Astoria. And yo, Moyer. Some velocity on her swings, the lefty. And there it is. Crook County wins set number two, 25. To 18. Now they're up two sets to none and will try to close out a seventh consecutive state championship when we come back on OSAA.TV.
one match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. We're going to try to dictate to you what you're going to do on both offense and defense. Time to put the hats on and go get some work done. So they're all going to look to make a statement early. Three sixteen left to go in this ball game. High formation, third and three from the 45 of the Wolverines. And this time, holy cow! Dion almost hands it to the Westview player. He's going to run this to the 5, 10, touchdown, Wolverines! How did that happen? Jason that was Snyder. Holy cow! He was in the backfield before the running back could even get the handoff. He took the handoff from he Dion. He took the ball right out of Dion's hands and just... <laughs> Holy cow! Can't say I've seen that one very often. Snyder comes shooting in from the A-gap. I think Dion froze when he saw him. He's ready to hand off to his running back. He froze when he saw him and just hand, let him have the ball. 12 seconds to go. Oh, you could hear a pin drop. Five, four, three, two. Get the snap off. Last play of the game. Brewster rolls right. Gets away from two sacks. Dons win. Sack at the 20-yard line. What a game. And welcome back to Lane Community College in Eugene, Oregon. Glad to have you with us here on OSAA.TV. The OSAA U.S. Bank Les Schwab Tires 4A State Volleyball Championships. And we're on to set number three. Crook County won set one 25-8 and set two 25-18. And the Cowgirls, as you see in the near court, are a set away from a seventh consecutive state championship. And it's remarkable when you think that Rosie Honnell, when she took over 17 years ago, her first three seasons, they did not win a match. Not a single match. And they didn't have much volleyball tradition, so they stuck with her. And she told her principal, I think I can turn it around. They brought in a sports psychologist who noticed they kind of almost expected to lose. And when they started expecting to win, they started to win. It wasn't long after that they made an appearance in the state tournament. And they got a lot of help from the local community and also a lot of help from the Rimrock Volleyball Club, which Rosie is an integral part of, along with Joel Kent, who's the head coach for the A-team, essentially. Several of these cowgirls came out of that program, play in that club program, as Astoria nets a point to even the set at one. Rosie helps coach the 10-year-olds, the 12-year-olds, the 14-year-old teams and also offers free volleyball lessons after school for an hour every day for, who forever, for whoever is interested. Off the block and out. Point for Crook County. Troutman with another big swing. Rosie Honnell was the head coach at Lincoln High School prior to taking over in Prineville. Had some success there growing that program. Astoria evens the score at two points apiece. Big part of the turnaround, she said, was convincing the players that losing is not fun. Well, winning's okay, but losing's absolutely horrible. 
Astoria takes the lead here in the second set. Lindbergh, the cross court smash, and we're tied to three. Serving for the Cowgirls is the libero, Berlin. Moyer with the kill. Danielle Moyer has been a bright spot for Astoria in this match. Dietrichs to serve. Well, Astoria's been there. They know what it's like to be down two sets to none in an elimination match. Moyer. Fraser into the net and out. Astoria spans its lead to 5-3. Fishermen were down two sets to none against Estacada with a berth to state on the line, and they came back to win it in five sets. In fact, they were trailing in the third set as well. Lindbergh into the net. That set was perhaps a little too close, and Hamilton will check with her. And signal the next play as Kirk County is set to receive the serve of Dietrichs. Lindbergh just taps it over. Story with the handle, but Moyer into the block. Frazier serving from the near court. That ball did hit the ground. Point for Crook County. Astoria guided by former college standout, Angie Hunt. Played with the Ducks under Jerry Gregory. And you may know the name Kathy Nelson if you're familiar with Oregon Volleyball Circles, who took over for Gregory as the head coach of the Ducks in the mid-90s. Nelson was an assistant on those teams, a defensive assistant. From the back row, Troutman. Kathy Nelson continues to run club teams here in the Eugene area. And Angie Hunt says she was kind of a utility player, a little bit of a outside hitter, a, an opposite side hitter. A little middle blocking mixed in. Hamilton will set up Lindbergh, and it's in. Beautiful offensive execution from the Cowgirls on that point, and they take the lead 7-6. Best finish thus far for the Fisherman under Angie Hunt. Off the block and out. Point Astoria. Tied at seven. Back in 2006, six, Angie led them to a sixth place finish here at State. Warrior with the serve. Here's the lefty. Hamilton a little short on that set. Hollis just pushes it over. And there's a block. Storia will give the free ball. And Lindbergh taps that over. An awkward looking hit. That could have been a lift. No call. And Astoria stays with it and earns the point and takes the lead. Tough handle there. Lindbergh with the bad pass off the good serve from Danielle Moyer. And getting a break is Frazier checking in for the Cowgirls. Elsa Harris, the sophomore defensive specialist. So a little more passing perhaps in the lineup now. 
Carter lobs it over. Lindbergh can't get a good run at it. Can't get that big swing going that we expected. But there's the block instead. Solid all-around volleyball player, Michaela Lindbergh, who has signed to play at the University of Portland next year. A lot of these cowgirls go on to play in college and coach in high school and even the college ranks after playing for Rosie Honnell. Service error, and Astoria is up 10-8 with Carter to serve. Troutman off the net and out of bounds. Eleven eight Astoria trying to stay alive here in set number three. Troutman winds up and puts it down. Anna Troutman. Wow. Hamilton will serve the first year starter, first year organized volleyball player, Keila Hamilton. And a middle set tapped over and is it down? No, it was saved by Crook County in a pile of bodies. And now the big swing on the outside and that is out. Missing at that time was Lund, the junior. Got a good look at it, a good serve. And Healthy step into that one, just a little bit of an overshoot as Hamilton into the net, a service error. Silva will serve for Astoria, now leading 12 to 10. Hamilton, athletic play just to save that ball from going into the net, but they did touch the net. Side out and point Astoria, excuse me, just point. Silva to score, uh, serve again with the three-point lead. Another tough pass. Troutman into the block and out. Hamilton's doing everything she can do to get to those passes that are somewhat overpasses. And Astoria has taken the lead. Timeout, Crook County. With the score 14 to 10, Fisherman, let's take a break on OSAA.TV. One match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. We're going to try to dictate to you what you're going to do on both the offense and defense. Time to put the hats on and go get some work done. So they're all going to look to make a statement early. And welcome back out of the Crook County timeout. Rosie Honnell trying to settle the Cowgirls down defensively. And on the other side, Angie Hunt, I'm sure, imploring the fishermen just to keep up the good work. And there's a ball that finds the hardwood here at Lane Community College. A couple of substitutions back into the game for Crook County, Allie Apperson and Annie Frazier. Apperson will serve. And an ace for Apperson has really come up big in that respect. Very tough serve to handle. Here's a chance for Astoria, and the ball unable to be saved by Frazier. A nice attack from Grafton, Kyra Grafton. Hamilton had a good pass that time. Troutman winds up and puts it down, deep into the bleachers. It goes. 
Wow, Troutman. It's a fiercely competitive player. Coach says she tries to be absolutely perfect in everything she does on the volleyball court. And there she digs it out. Frazier, nice dig by Carter. Moyer, no. Lindbergh, and a double hit against Crook County. And Astoria getting it rolling a bit here in set number three. Can they extend it? Lindbergh again can't get a good swing in. There she goes. When she winds up, she can really pound it. Side out, Crook County. Back into the game to serve for the Cowgirls is Berlin, the libero. They wear the opposite color jersey. They cannot attack. More of a defensive specialist. And Astoria. Nicely played, nice touch on the ball. Everything is not a fastball necessarily. Seventeen fourteen, Fisherman in set number three. Down two sets to none. Another tap for Lindbergh, and her coach says she has more shots than Kodak. There is an example. It's not just the thunderous kills, but the finesse that she can put on a fingertip tap like that. Frazier to serve. Crook County down two points. Carter just eases it over. Lindbergh on the slide into the net. Moyer. Lindbergh again taps it over. Joust at the net. Moyer controls. Hollis. The giraffe strikes. Crook County back to within a point. Frazier serving. Lindbergh taps it into the back line and finds a hole. Back set, Moyer overshot her a little bit. Did a nice job just to get it over the net and a joust. It'll stay on Crook County's side and a double hit. Mishandled set there. And Astoria continues to hold on to that narrow lead, 18-17, with Moyer to serve. And a service error. And Lindbergh will serve. We're all knotted at 18 in set number three. Troutman off the block and down. Crook County takes the lead. Kayla Lindbergh again. Floats it into the back row. Tough pass. Carter just gets it over. Can Crook County keep it alive? No. Back and forth we go. Great set here in this 4A championship as Astoria tries to stay alive while Crook County looks for yet another state title. Troutman off the block. 
Troutman again. Taps it over. Moyer. Good job by Lindbergh. And now Hollis missed it. No one touched it. They call Hollis the giraffe. Her long arms, a fast swing, and her extremely long eyelashes. And there's another point for Crook County. We're all even at 20. Back into the game comes Catherine Kionis, the junior. Middle set. Nice swing by Grafton, but it's dug by the Cowgirls. Grafton again. Oh, Lindbergh with a great save. Awkward passing. Moyer from the back row. Troutman. Moyer will take charge. The senior. Troutman again. Nah, finds the corner. And a Troutman. Twenty-one twenty, Crook County, four points away. And it's in there. An ace. Timeout. Astoria. Twenty-two twenty, Crook County, three points away from a seventh consecutive state championship. We'll take a break on OSAA.tv. One match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. We're going to try to dictate to you what you're going to do on both offense and defense. Time to put the hats on and go get some work done. So they're all going to look to make a statement early. And welcome back. Glad to have you with us here on OSAA.TV. 22-20, Crook County. The lead and the serve, Hamilton. Good pass. Tapped over by Grafton. And point, Astoria. So out of the timeout, the fishermen put together a good sequence and climb back to within a point here in set number three. Silva. Troutman. Astoria ties it at 22. Rosie Hano pleading that that ball touched a blocker. And up into the girder, kept alive somehow by Crook County. Unbelievable. There is a beam spanning the length of the court, right in the middle of the court, which sometimes comes into play. It did there, created an awkward situation for the Cowgirls. They were able to adjust and take advantage. Apperson, very tough server. We'll go with Troutman, the hot hand, puts it down. Match point. And one more timeout for Astoria, trying to stay alive in this one. We'll keep it right here for the moment. And just sort of set the stage and tell you what this would mean. Crook County, when they were still a 5A school, won two consecutive titles their final two years at the 5A level. They've dropped down to 4A and absolutely dominated 4A volleyball, winning the last four state championships. That's six in a row for Rosie Honnell's squad. 
And remember, this is a team that gets no athletic funding from its school district. And just stays together for the love of the game. They collect cans. They have fundraising dinners. They do whatever they can to raise the money it takes to stay on the volleyball court. And it has turned into a community passion in Prineville. Match point. And they've done it. Seven consecutive state titles for the Crook County Cowgirls. 25-8, 25-18, 25-22. Hats off to Astoria. They hung in and got better as the match wore on. But Crook County is an unstoppable force in 4A volleyball. And they claim yet another state title for Rosie Honnell and the folks back in Prineville. Well, still some business to take care of. Why don't we take one more break as we sort it out. We'll be back in a moment and announce our all-tournament teams and our ODS players of the match, as well as have our trophy ceremony. One match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. We're going to try to dictate to you what you're going to do on both offense and defense. We're going to come at you. One shot at this. But now it's time to put the hats on and go get some work done. So they're all going to look to make a statement early. Welcome back. Crook County continues to celebrate its 4A State Volleyball Championship. And what a program. We talked about it throughout the match, but Rosie Honnell did not win a match her first three years with the Cowgirls. And now she's won seven consecutive state championships. Really speaks to the perseverance of Rosie and her staff, her husband, one of the assistants, and also the faith that the administration at Crook County put in Rosie Honnell and her program as she built it over the years, built up volleyball in general in Central Oregon. Our final score, 25-8, 25-18, 25-22, another sweep for Crook County. And the Cowgirls did not lose a set here at the state tournament. They have just blown right through the competition. And if you look at both squads here, uh, they lose Michaela Lindbergh and Annie Frazier, who are two huge parts of the puzzle for Crook County, but they have... Everyone else back on the roster, including a sophomore setter, who will be a junior, of course, in a year. For Astoria, they lose two seniors, Danielle Moyer and Nadine England. And many sophomores, juniors coming back next year as well for the Fishermen. So, accepting the players of the game Daniel Moyer for Astoria, our ODS players of the game. Moyer was the go-to force. It could have gone to any of a number of uh, Crook County Cowgirls. We chose Michaela Lindbergh here in her senior year, making a difference both defensively and offensively. Obviously, Hannah Troutman had a huge night swinging 
but Lindbergh did a little of everything, and those are our ODS players of the game. Let's go over our uh, all tournament teams here at the 4A level, starting with the second team. Shannon Founts, a senior from Sisters, along with Shelby Moritzen, a sophomore from Madras, Annie Frazier, a senior from Crook County, Allison Silva, a junior from Astoria, Dury Stanley, a senior from Sisters, and Nyla Lukens, a sophomore from Sisters. That's your second team, all tournament squad. And the first team, Kaylin Van Domelen, a senior from Banks, Hannah Troutman, a junior from Crook County, Megan Minky, a senior from Sisters. Jenna Loheed, a senior from Elmira. Daniel Moyer, the senior from Astoria. And a unanimous selection, Michaela Lindbergh, the senior from Crook County. That's your first team all tournament group here at the USAA US Bank Les Schwab Tires 4A State Championships. Well, that's, uh, that's about it. Start to wrap it up here on OSAA.tv as... Uh, I guess we'll stay on as these uh, sportsmanship awards are handed out. And then the, uh, the first and second place trophies. I'll remind you that earlier today in the 3A championship, Santiam Christian won in straight sets over Crook County. Or, excuse me, over Corbett. And Crook County, your 4A champion in straight sets over the Astoria Fishermen. As they hand out the all uh, tournament squads, and you can uh, buy a DVD of this or see it online. And we'll just sign off, I believe, for Josh Warden and Keith Corcoran, our OSAA.tv crew. I'm Dave Wenda. Thanks for joining us here on OSAA.tv as Crook County wins its seventh consecutive state championship. Congratulations to the Cowgirls, and good night, everyone. <laughs>